Hey y'all, what's up? Jamie, that's me here. Welcome back to the channel. Listen, real quick, I want to have a quick chat about Eva and her husband, soon to be ex-husband, Mr. Michael Sterling, okay? Yesterday it was announced and I did announce that she has filed for a divorce. Well, I am learning more details about, you know, their situation and it looks like she is demanding child support and I do believe primary custody. So I want to go ahead and get into this article. Um, I am reading from Radar Online. So for those of you guys, they may want to follow follow along you can do so okay so they're saying that ex real housewives of atlanta star eva marcel files for divorce from husband michael sterling and demands child support all right now they're saying that um according to court documents obtained by radar online the ex-american next stop america's next stop model uh star filed petition on march 23rd in georgia OK, that's when she filed to divorce her husband. Now, of course, they married October 7th, 2018, and they currently are living in a bona fide state of separation. And for those people that don't know what that means, OK, had to pull up the details on that. They're saying um, a bona fide separation is when a couple stops engaging in a marital relationship. A couple can live together and still be considered separated. The only requirement is that they do not engage in any sexual activity with each other. OK, so it sounds like Eva and he are still living in the home, but they are on different quarters. Child, I don't know. They could be living in this, sleeping in the same bed, honey, but ain't nothing really going down like that. You know what I'm saying? Great. It's giving roommates right now until further notice. Okay. I don't know if Eva's going to get that house or if she's going to get another property. Um, if he has another um property. So we'll figure all those details out when more details come. Now, of course, y'all do know they share two children together. There is a Michael Jr. and then there is a Maverick. And then she has a beautiful daughter, uh, Marley, that he adopted, um, gave her his last name but her father is uh kevin mccall okay but he pretty much raised that baby like it was his baby okay so um we'll see <clears throat> we'll see what happens with that relationship that dynamic i wonder if she's gonna allow her daughter to keep that last name or go back to mccall i feel like she'll let her keep that last name because of her brothers right <clears throat> excuse me her brothers have the last name sterling so i think that she wouldn't want to like go through any stress having to change it back but being that she'll be divorced from um mr sterling i do wonder if michael i'm sorry not michael but if kevin mccall is going to try to put up some type of fight to see if he can get his daughter's name changed back so mm -mm. I don't know. I don't even know how active he's really been in marley's life for real the past few years I would love to know that but um it's going to be interesting, all right? Now, they're saying that Eva is demanding primary custody of their children and child support from Michael. They're saying that she asked that Michael be ordered to contribute to the care and the maintenance of the children, including medical bills. Now, the Real Housewives of Atlanta Star says she is entitled to the divorce based on the grounds that the marriage is irretrievably broken with no chance of a reconciliation. My question when I hear this is... How long were y'all trying to like get things together? Like what really happened? Like where y'all had y'all been trying for such a long time and things just never worked out? Or could it have been a situation of, you know, maybe somebody cheated or whatever? Um, could it be a financial issue? I definitely um wonder what's going on. Like it's crazy because so many housewives <clears throat> have announced their divorce. I believe it was Cynthia Bailey that announced a few months ago. And then you had Miss Drew Sedora. And then now you have Miss Eva Marcel announcing her. So I don't know what else is to calm down the pipeline, honey. But let's keep going. But I will say this news really shocked a lot of us, girl. I'm still shocked. They're saying Eva said during the marriage, the parties have acquired various assets known and unknown to Eva. So I mean, or, or does he have some do? Do he have some assets that Miss Eva don't know about? Um, tangible and intangible and Eva should be awarded an equitable division of all marital assets both real and personal okay now further <clears throat> she wants Michael to pay her legal bills in this case Michael did you do something because she did go down there file and then now she wants you to pay for it okay you want this divorce you do it you take care of it okay um, Michael has yet to respond to the case in court. He's not moving like Ralph. You divorce me. Well, let me rush down there and I'm going to divorce you too. How about that? Okay. 
So um, he's not moving like a Michael, but they're saying that he has yet to respond to the case. OK, um, back in 2020, Eva spoke out about why she legally changed Marley's last name um, to Sterling. Let's see. She said Marley was born in 2014 and I gave her biological, gave her her father's uh, last name. After two months, we became estranged and I raised her as a single mom. And then the good Lord saw fit for me to meet an amazing man, Michael Sterling, who has become my husband and the father of my later children. Long story short, we all have the name Sterling and Marley is the only one with her biological father's name. And I saw it necessary and Mike saw it necessary as well to change her name. OK, um, <clears throat> and I, I'm sure that made it better for Marley because she probably felt a little outcasted a bit that everybody has the same name and she doesn't. You know what I'm saying? So. OK, um, they were able to fix it. So they fixed that. OK, now she continues. She says, we've been going through the process. I must say it's not an easy process and it is not for the faint of heart, but we've been working through it. And yesterday I can say thanks to the judge, you know, he allowed that name change to take place. OK, so we'll see if she's going to keep that name. I would think that she is. But like I said, you know, my question is whether the dad is going to try to. <clears throat> come back around flip some things and be like hey you're not married to him anymore can you give me my daughter's last name back and I just feel like that's really based on whether you know how active you've really been in her life the past few years and whether that's you know worthy to have her last name changed you know and would you really want to put her through that all over again her getting accustomed to the last name Sterling and then now she got to go back to my call so hopefully that won't really be the case but um it seems like Miss Eva and he might have a smooth you know what I'm saying? Like a smooth divorce so far. Again, he has not responded. He is not going down there um, like uh, what's his name? Ralph has done. But then I'm also wondering, did he not go down there because, you know, typically they don't respond or is he possibly hopeful that they could that they could work things out and maybe, you know, stay together or whatever? But I would like to know. Um I would like to know what's like, is this truly a done deal? Cause she don't file for a divorce or is he going to try to work to, you know, keep his family or whatnot. But you know, girl, they look like, you know, you just never know what's going on inside people's uh, houses and stuff. Cause they look like they were just like an ideal, happy couple peace. You never really heard no drama except for the little thing. Miss Tamar tried to put out there. They had people wondering, was it Miss Eva and her husband coming at Tamar? Right? So you never really hear anything negative about them. You don't really know what's going on. So I think that's one of the reasons why so many of us are like, what? What? Like, oh, like, oh my God, but you never know. You never know what's going on, you know, with a relationship, especially behind closed doors. So I, I don't know what all they endure. I slick wish she was on Housewives so that we could capture a little bit of the details. But all in all, it does seem like, um, you know, it might be a smooth one. But either way, we'll find out. We shall see. But update, update, update. Okay, this is a quick update. All right. I wanted to add more to the story. I know we just talked about the fact that Eva is, you know, seeking primary custody and child support from Mr. Michael Sterling for the children. I also had a question about whether or not she was going to be changing her daughter's name back. And I also was wondering whether or not, you know, Michael was going to try to fight for the love of his wife, okay, to try and hold on and keep the marriage. Well, listen, Mike, as well as Eva has come out and made a statement, and I definitely want to get into it. First up, let's go ahead and get into what Eva had to say. Because actually, this took place last night where People Magazine was able to get a a sound bite okay they were able to have a conversation with Eva to find out a few things you know what I'm gonna do because that's what I like to do I like to get into the things okay so we are about to go ahead and get into that article so the article reads this, Eva Marcel divorces Michael Sterling following four years of marriage. One of the hardest decisions is what she says. Let's get into this, okay? Um, they're saying Real Housewives of Atlanta star 38 filed for a divorce from the lawyer on March 23rd, stating that their marriage is irretrievably broken, as you've already heard, okay? Eva is being quoted as saying, this has been one of the hardest decisions I have ever had to make. But sometimes life takes your journey in a direction you were not expecting expecting she says our children remain our biggest priority in the eight and the eight and a half years we have spent together will always be cherished we ask that you respect our privacy 
at this time is what was said. Okay. Now the pair did get married on October 7th, as you already know. Um, and they are currently living in a bona fide state of separation. And I went over all of that earlier in this particular video. Okay. So, um, that's where they are. It's a very, very unfortunate situation. Um, I, girl, listen, this is just sad. Let me see when Eva made this post of Michael. Okay. That was an old post that she made of Michael. Let's see. Is there anything else? They said that Sterling has been absent from Marcel's Instagram profile since earlier this year. So it seems like they've been having issues for a minute. So they're saying that he has been absent from her profile since e earlier this year when she posted a photo of him on a yacht. OK, so I wonder if they they don't have exactly when she made that post. Now I'm about to go over here and search through her IG. She's so pretty of her uh, different photos to see exactly when she posted him. Ooh, girl, look like he was on. a Was this a yacht? She told him happy birthday on December 27th. But outside of that, I don't think I, oh, there it is. There's the yacht photo. January 5th was the last time Miss Eva made a post of him. Yeah, I'm scrolling through this page and I'm not seeing any more posts. I, 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 that's not true. That's not true. She posted him on February 14th and says happy Valentine's Day forever and ever at mike sterling okay so this is what she said the photos definitely look old and it's no shade or disrespect but it looks like it was back when eva had her before her uh, veneers okay because y'all know she had a medical condition which is why she had to get her teeth done okay um so this looks like it's an old photo of the couple let's see what else yeah i don't think she made any more post but i feel like she made that post with him just to kind of deter people so nobody would sit up there and say anything like oh eva why aren't you posting you know your husband are you guys together so i think she probably was a little paranoid as to why she decided to post that old photo of them but let's go on and see what else okay they said she kept the, the caption sm simple with the sunflower emoji sterling last posted a photo of him and marcel on valentine's day in the snap she's sitting on his lap as the two laugh and smile together Oh, he says my forever Valentine. Now, see, I feel like that was his way of kind of letting her know I still love you, girl. Like, don't go nowhere. They're saying that in that caption, he says, I'm so in love with you that there isn't anything else. Happy, sa happy St. Valentine's Day. You're so in love with her that there isn't anything else. And this is an old photo of them as well. Oh, wow. Oh, I don't even know if Eva even liked the photo, child. Wow. Well, we shall see. The couple was in tears as they said their I do's in front of 220 family and friends. OK, so they kind of go into details about that and then they go in to talk about their vows and things to each other. All right. Now, I want to kind of skip over and I want to get into exactly what Michael Sterling had to say, because it looks like the Jasmine brand was reporting that he want to he want to win his wife back. OK. Um, exclusive Eva Marcel's husband, Mike Sterling reacts to her filing for a divorce. I am gonna win her back is what he said. Okay. Um, they're saying that, uh, Michael Sterling has given them an exclusive statement about their divorce. He says, I'm not going to lose my wife. I'm going to fight for her with every fiber in my being. I love her and I plan to show her how much I love her and that our love is strong enough to get to the other side. And when you say get to the other side, I really... I'm, I don't know what happened, but when I hear that, it does make me question any infidelity or anything. Now, that does not always have to be the case as to why people are getting a divorce, right? It could be simply him withholding some information from her that was very important. She didn't like send her over the edge. She's like, I'm out, right? Um, or it could be that he could have likely stepped out. We do not know that to be fact. But when I see that, when you say get to the other side, that's often what I hear getting to the other side related to. OK, they say it looks like there could be trouble in the marital paradise for another Real Housewives of Atlanta star. Now, that was the original story that was po posted. OK, according to some reports, uh, that's when um, they said Eva Marcel recently filed court, um, court documents to dissolve the marriage from Michael. OK, um, they're just pretty much going through everything, showing us the court documents and everything about her filing for a divorce. OK, but ultimately he has made a statement. And what he is saying is that he's going to fight for his wife with every fiber in his being, which was definitely one of my questions for him. OK, so that's all that I got. I wanted to come and let you guys know what Eva said. 
She said it was a hard decision for her to make, but it sounds like for me reading what Eva said, it sounds like Eva is sold on her decision to really file, to really be done with him and file for this, this divorce as we see that she um she was the one that went down there and filed, right? So it seems like she's set in her decision, whereas he isn't set in his decision. And as long as they living in a bona fide state of what is it called? Um, separation or whatever, basically living together, but not sexually involved or anything like that. I think he is going to do his best to try and fight for his wife, but I hope it works out for y'all either way. Good luck. I do hope it works out because I ain't nobody trying to see another housewife go through this divorce and all of that. So if they able to fix it with these beautiful children that they got, then fix it, girl. And if not, you know, just go where your happiness is. And if it's not there, then go somewhere else. OK, so there's that. You guys go ahead and hop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts about everything that we just discussed regarding Eva and her husband uh, getting this divorce and him wanting to continue to fight for her. All right. Um, I'm Jamie. That's me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jamie. That's me. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.